This is a punch needle workshop that I'm hosting on Saturday. Duncan, what are you doing? Okay, I just finished designing this. It's so cute. I'm literally obsessed with Duncan. These are the packages going out today. Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of Off Season Chronicles where I document running my small business and my life outside of market season. And today's video is gonna be dedicated to preparing for my second workshop. This is a punch needle workshop that I'm hosting on Saturday. It's a make your own coaster workshop. So the guests will be able to make a cow coaster or a heart coaster, which I actually included the heart coaster in a giveaway recently. So I need to make another heart coaster. But yeah, stay tuned for lots of workshop prep in this video. And I'm also gonna mix in everything else I need to do this week. So starting off today, today is March 19th, it's 10, 15 a.m. And I'm gonna start by packing some frame orders. We have four frames that need to go out today. So that's where I'm gonna start. And then we will begin market prepping, which I might begin by making a heart coaster. So I have that for people to see when they decide what coaster they wanna do this weekend. So yeah, let's just get right into this. We've lost to get done and I hope you enjoy this video. Okay, I lied. I'm actually gonna start today with workshop prep because my fiance Sean is still working on the frame covers for the frames I have to ship today. So those probably won't be done until later and I'll pack up all those orders later. So. Let's start with prepping for the workshop. I'm going to begin by making the heart coaster, like I was saying. Trees are in green, the ocean is gray, sky is a vague blue, come away. My room is a mess, it could use a hand. My favorite TV shows to capture in. I know I must get a ride, must get back in the fight. This can't be a surprise. Okay, after I made the heart, I continued on with workshop prep. First, I prepped a whole bunch of fabric, and I explain all of this later, but I figured I would explain it as I do it as well. And then I readjusted the length on all the needles so that they were at the right length. And then after that, I measured out some yarn for all of the projects. And yeah, that's what I spent the next like hour or so doing.
1 30 right now and these are the packages going out today and this morning was a lot of time lapse so i want to quickly catch you up to what i did and how i'm feeling for the workshop um also i'm leaving in like 10 minutes for an appointment so i'm gonna see you after that but let me catch you up so as you saw i did the yarn i'll probably do more before saturday to make sure there's plenty available and that we don't have to prepare more while we're there so this is for the heart design and then the cow design and then what else did i do oh i looked in my bag of workshop stuff from last workshop and i readjusted the needles to the correct length and just made sure everything i need is here i also cut a ton of fabric for the hoops for the projects and for the practice hoops that everyone's gonna get and then yeah just made sure everything was here so feeling good about that i don't think i have too much more to prep i also need to prep um what is it the felt for the back of the project i have some prepped here but i'm gonna prep some more and then i'll have to like confirm that everything else is good to go i'll need to pack glue sticks the glue guns are packed so that's good but then other than that for workshop prep is really just like me preparing how i want to run the class so I'll do that throughout this week but I don't know I thought this is gonna take like all week and it might only take like a couple of days which is great we can focus on other things this week as well but that's the update and I will see you after my appointment it's 3 30 and I'm back for my appointment and he smells my lip gloss <laughs> and oh he's so cute I'm literally obsessed with Duncan and I was just deciding what I wanted to do I wasn't sure where I should allocate my time and energy, but I think I'm gonna do a location sticker for an order and then finish packing up that order. She ordered a punch needle kit, a location sticker, and a cow refill kit. I've packed up everything but the location sticker because I haven't made that yet. So I'm gonna make that and get her order finished with. And then I might just start on a new punch needle sheet because I feel pretty good about where I'm at with the market prep. The next step is probably gonna be to stretch the fabric onto the embroidery hoops and trace out some designs for the workshop. I forgot that I have to do that. So that's the update. Let's do a location sticker. Okay, I just finished packing up that order and it's somehow 6.30 right now. Uh, so I'm gonna log off for today, but I will see you tomorrow. I'm not sure entirely what we're gonna get up to, but I guess stay tuned. Good morning, it's the next morning. Today is Wednesday and it's 10.30 right now and I'm getting another late start on the work day but I'm okay with it because I worked out, I showered, I did a lot of things I don't usually do in the morning that I don't have to do later. So I'm feeling good 
And I also don't have a ton to get done today. I don't have any orders that need to ship out today. And I actually don't have any orders that I can even pack, like that are ready to go. A lot of them are for frames. I think there might be one or two for a punch needle kit. And then in terms of the workshop prep, I have the felt prepped. I showed you that yesterday. I just grabbed felt from what I already had cut out. Those were cut out for like future kits, but I can just cut more for when I need to pack up kits. And then the only other thing we need to prep, I believe, are the frames and the designs on the frames. So I think Sean's gonna stretch some fabric for the frames tonight and then I'll be able to go in and design all like the hearts and cow prints on those frames. And I'm um, trying to think. I also just wanna practice like what I'm gonna say, like just run through my head what how I want to structure the class like I did last time um, but it's going to be a little different because we're going to take more time to practice at the beginning of class on a practice hoop um, which I also have to prepare those hoops with like a line a corner and I think like a triangle for people to fill in and a curve and I might start working on another beginner punch needle kit so I asked on my Instagram yesterday what designs people would be interested in and the one that people mentioned the most was a cactus. So I think I'm gonna do a cactus for the next uh, punch needle coaster and it's gonna be easy to do. So I'm very excited. It's actually probably gonna be easier than the clouds. So I'm gonna quickly trace that up and just kind of get started on another beginner punch needle kit. I'm not gonna get it done today because I have to film the tutorial and edit and that's what takes the longest. But yeah, let's start on another punch needle kit. I want to have a few more like designs like full kits out not just the refill kits so we're gonna start with the cactus and I'm like thinking I'm like is there something else I need to do but I don't think there is so I'm excited to have fun with a like not necessary task so let's work on a kit Okay, so here is the design. I just need to cut it out. But I just posted a poll on my Instagram story asking if people wanted the green cactus with a blue background or green cactus with a pink background. I think pink would be super cute, especially with green. I would ask you guys the same, but I have a feeling that I'm gonna have already made a decision by the time this video is up. So if you wanna be part of helping me make decisions, definitely follow me on Instagram because that's where I ask all my questions. It's just quicker for me to do it through Instagram than YouTube. So yeah, my Instagram is always linked in the description, but it's our cheery corner. So I'm gonna actually go get groceries right now and let that poll sit and let people like respond to it. And then when I get back, we will see what people voted for and then continue working on this kit. Okay, I'm back home from grocery shopping and I took a look at the poll and 74% of people voted for the pink background. So that's what I'm gonna do and I'm very excited because that's what I wanted to win. So, especially cause this one, has a blue background already, so it'd be a lot of blue for the beginner kits. But I'm gonna trace this and measure out the yarn and make the first sample. Um, and then we'll see what I get up to after that.
Okay, it's 2.30 right now and I just finished the coaster that's gonna be for the next kit. Let me know what you think. I love it. I think it's so cute. I love the pink background. And then if you get both, like these go super cute together. I love it. Okay, um, so right now I think I'm gonna take Duncan on a walk and just take a break. And honestly, I don't think I have too much more than I'm doing today. This is like a weird feeling because I feel pretty caught up on stickers. Like I feel pretty stocked with different things. I should work on tote bag soon. Maybe I'll work on a tote bag. But other than that, I will see you when I see you, whether it's today when I work on a tote bag or tomorrow. Um, tomorrow I have a meeting in the morning and then I teach at night, but I'll have like majority of the day to get work done as well. So maybe I'll do some planning with the workshop tomorrow. We will see. And then tonight I'm going to trivia with some friends. So I don't have too many hours left of my work day. But I will see you soon. And yeah, let me know in the comments if you like this new design. Okay, it's three o'clock right now and I decided I'm gonna work on the label for this beginner punch needle kit. So like the label that goes, or the sticker that goes on the outside of the box. I wanna quickly design that, play around with that. And then, yeah, let's just start there. I was thinking about doing a tote bag, but then I remembered I could do this. So I'm gonna quickly do that and then show you the final product. Okay, I just finished designing this and it's not like the definite final sticker. Um, I did just post this on my Instagram stories as well to see what people thought, but I think it's super cute. I love the little heart on the cactus. I designed this on Canva um, because my branding is pink with hearts, so I feel like it's very fitting. So yeah, let me know what you think. I really like it, I'm happy with it. So the next steps will be to make the tutorial, edit that, and then make the instructions which I should be able to just change around the ones for the cloud coaster kit, take product photos and list this. So hopefully in like the next week or two, next week is super busy for me, like for my personal life, donut surgery. Let me flip the camera. Okay, I prefer talking like this, um, but donut surgery is next week. It's the 28th of March, so end of next week. So that's kind of got me a little nervous. Duncan has an appointment to get some bumps looked at. Um, and then I just have like other things going on next week, but hopefully I can get this up either next week or the week after. The tutorial is really the biggest thing that is most time consuming part of this, but I'm excited. I think it's so cute. I feel like we've made good headway uh, today on these and I'm going to, I think, work on a punch needle tote bag now. Today is Thursday, it's 12.39 right now, and I had a couple of meetings this morning and I just finished choreographing for my classes tonight. So I am just getting started on the day, but I'm gonna pack up this order real quick. We have one order that has to go out today, it's for this frame. But after this, I'm not entirely sure what I'm gonna do. I might, I don't know, I might work on some prep for the workshop as long as Sean can stretch some of the fabric that I can start tracing the designs and the like practice hoop that I wanna do for everyone. Two more people bought 
tickets. So we currently have eight people, I think, attending, which means we need 16 frames stretched because everyone's getting two frames. And then we want to have plenty more fabric in case someone's fabric gets compromised. So yeah, that's the plan. Let's start by packing this order and then we will see what else we get up to. This might not be a very heavy day with work because I have to teach in like three and a half hours. So... Okay, I just wanted to pop in and give an update. It's 2.40 right now and I leave for work in a little less than two hours. And I just traced a new sheet for car coasters that I might start working on tonight. I might start working on after the workshop, like on Sunday or something. I'm not sure. But right now I'm just going to put together some more yarn bundles for the workshop because we now have eight tickets total purchased. So I want to make sure I have enough yarn, obviously. So I'm going to do that. And then I might cut up some more fabric and, and just make sure I have enough supplies for this workshop. And then obviously I still need to do the hoops, which might be a tomorrow task. And then I'm also going to have my friend come over tomorrow and teach her how to punch needle just to practice teaching before the workshop again. But yeah, I just wanted to give that update and let's just keep working. I'm so morning today is friday it's 10 22 right now and i have less than an hour before i need to leave for duncan's agility class this is what i got done last night so nothing crazy but i did keep working on the punch needle and right now i'm just gonna get right to work i have to pack up a frame that's going out today and then i'm gonna start tracing the designs and the like practice sheets on these hoops. I have to pick up some more hoops for my parents that got delivered so I don't have all of them here but Sean stretched a lot of them so that's what I'm gonna work on up until I have to leave. So yeah let's just get right to it. Okay, it's the same day. It's 9.30 right now. Obviously, I look crazy. I just took a bath and now I'm in a bathrobe. But I wanted to hop on here and give an update rather than just skipping to tomorrow. So my best friend came over and I kind of gave her like a class. And it actually really helped. It worked out even more kinks that I didn't think about or just things that would be helpful to add to the workshop, which I'll go over in a second. But I wanted to quickly like explain how I'm going to run the workshop and then I want to go through all my supplies and make sure I have plenty more than enough supplies so that's what I'm going to do in a second but just to give like a quick breakdown on how I plan to run the class so we have eight people coming and one of the struggles last time that I didn't really think about until my friend brought it up today was everyone was always on like a different step of the project so which is going to happen again but Basically, I have two 
frames for each person this time. Let me show you. I have all my frames here. So this is the first frame, which is going to be the practice frame. And then this is the second frame, depending on the design, it'll be a heart or a cow print. So we're all going to start obviously on the practice frame, but we're all going to do the single line first and then wait so that we can then all move on to this one. And I can explain the difference between doing a line and the L. Then we're going to move on together to the C and I'll explain how to do that. And then we're going to all move on together to the triangle and fill that in. Um, I think that's going to help a lot. Then people can move on to the project. And by this point, they should have a good feel on how to punch a needle and work out most kinks that they're going to have. And then for the rest of class, I'll work on that project and I will answer any questions. And I think three hours is going to be perfect. It took about 30 minutes for my friend to work through the practice sheet and get her questions answered. Fingers crossed we have enough time tomorrow and there aren't too many issues. But right now I'm going to go through and make sure I have everything that I need for tomorrow. We're leaving around 12 o'clock to drop Duncan off at my parents and then we'll head to the Boston area for the workshop. So yeah, I'm excited. We'll go through all this and then I will see you tomorrow. Okay, so I'm bringing a ton of extra fabric in case people's projects get messed up. And then I have all the frames in here. I should have nine practice frames because I want to have one for myself so I can explain. So we have one. Okay, we have nine of those. And then I didn't trace out eight of each design because obviously that will be more than enough if I do that. But I do have enough fabric in case like all eight people want to do one design, but I don't anticipate that happening. But I have one, two, three, four, five, six cows traced. Four, I think cow will be more popular. Two, three, four, five. That's good to start. And then I also am bringing a bag for trash and then a lint roller so I can lint roll their projects at the very end. And then this is all the yarn and I have extra in case we need it, but this is the measured out yarn. Here I have stencils for the projects if we need to retrace. I have threaders. I have my like talking points for the beginning of the workshop. And then I have these guides for people to look at. Then I have felt for the backs of the project. I have more than eight, although that should not <laughs> be necessary. And then I have the actual project so I can show people and ask them what they want to do. Then I have my punch needle. I'm going to actually put this in this bag. Um, and then my glue gun I can also go in this bag. This bag is full of the needles and the glue guns. I have a bunch of scissors in this bag as well. And then the glue sticks. That is everything we need. We're good to go. Very exciting. So I will see you tomorrow for the workshop. It's the next day, it's 12 o'clock right now, and I'm gonna make this clip really short because we're running out the door, but we're about to leave to go drop Duncan off at my parents and then head to Somerville, Mass for this workshop. Um, so yeah, I don't know how much footage I'm gonna be able to get. We will see, but I'm gonna take my phone to try to get some footage. So yeah, I will either see you there or I will see you after to talk about how it goes. I'm also getting dinner tonight with my friend and her friends, so I'll probably talk to you tomorrow. Yeah. Today is Sunday, it's 12.22 right now, and I wanted to go over how the workshop went yesterday. So eight people were supposed to come, but only seven ended up coming. Someone had an emergency they had to tend to, so 
could not come but it went very well. Everyone was able to complete a coaster and go home with it. It was like worlds of an improvement compared to the first workshop I did. Um, if you've seen my first workshop video, I talked about how it was kind of a disaster, but this was like perfect, honestly. Everyone was able to learn and complete the project and the three hours was a good time block. Um, we only used two and a half hours. We spent about the first 30 minutes doing the practice sheet and then we spent two hours doing the actual project and everyone kind of finished around the same time too which was really nice to see and I think the biggest thing was the fabric like the fabric I used for the first workshop was just not beginner friendly and that's what I use for all my coasters that I make I use this fabric it's muslin but we use duck fabric for the workshop and it went great and that's what I have in the beginner punch needle kits as well and the refill kits is the duck fabric the canvas that was good like reassurance that that fabric works um even though i knew it worked but like i knew this worked and then i used it for the first workshop and it wasn't working so <laughs> i'm glad that i switched the kit fabric over um to that canvas but we got back late last night and duncan had a little agility competition this morning so it's 12:30 right now and i'm just gonna be in my office all day i have to unpack from the workshop yesterday i have orders to pack there's some other things i have to get done as well so i'm gonna end the vlog here i really hope you enjoyed and i hope to see you in my next one stay tuned for market prepping Even if I lost my money, does it runs deep honey? and i don't need to speak a single